Imagine, a group of people that you have been adventuring with for however long are fighting a dragon, and you just managed to deal the final blow. The paladin in your party has managed to cut its head off and kill it, and you have almost died. This is one of the most thrilling events that can occur whilst playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons. What's up guys, my name's Glassfoot, and today I'm gonna tell you why I believe that you should play Dungeons and Dragons. It is one of the most fun games I've ever played. I fucking love tabletop RPGs. And seriously, I think everyone should play them. If you know me at all, like you're one of my friends, or you just know me from online, you probably know I'm a fan of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm wearing a Critical Role Fox uh, Mighty Nine shirt, and if you watch any of my movie reviews, I give them a rating score of literally rolling a d20 on a scale of 1 to 20. Most things hit an average around... Eh, hard for me to tell at this point. Uh, I haven't really seen... I think I've seen one thing that I said I gave natural 20 and I haven't seen anything that's gotten a 1 yet. Give it time, <laughs> it'll probably occur. Most things I get to review, I don't... I kind of want to see to begin with, so most likely natural 1's not gonna occur, at least for a while. But... I am sidetracking myself on the point of this video. You know, I'm a huge fan of Dungeons and Dragons. Should be obvious. Metal dice, set of dice, set that I play with. This is actually, uh, this bag specifically is a uh, gift from my friend Zach for the uh, Tyranny of Dragons campaign that we played. First campaign I actually ever played. Um, also involved, these are all the characters that I played. Um, Technically, Rogar is actually the final character I played, and that just got accidentally put on twice. And Hidari was a high elf that I played for a minute when we needed a wizard. And, um, he died and then we resurrected him because we needed a wizard and I didn't want to roll a new one up. So technically, these two shouldn't count. I still went through four characters. Half-Orc Ranger, Tiefling Wizard, Githyanki, Paladin, and, uh, Keth was a half-Orc... Uh, blood, yeah, he was a blood hunter, and, um, uh, Rissok actually didn't die, he got kidnapped by some of the enemies, um, and so, uh, I decided because, uh, we could potentially run into him to make Keth actually have a backstory that involved him not liking Rissok very much, and I was super proud, and then he got murdered by a dragon. That was sad. This is, these are all my dice. I, I have this of dice. But, yeah, I, I'm clearly a huge fan of Dungeons and Dragons. But, um, here are my points on why I think everyone should play this game. Sorry, I really know these get rambly. Point one. This game is fun. This is one of the most fun that I've ever had playing with a group of friends. So, you know how, it's basically, take Skyrim, but uh, get, get a group of three to eight people, I played with big groups, have one guy who's crafting the story, and then have everyone be a part of solving the problem that the story presents. And you have Dungeons and Dragons, it's so much fun. You can literally make these characters however you want. You can do what you want with your character, and they don't have to adhere to any, you know, former policies. You don't have to have them act a certain way. There's, it's just, you can do with these characters that you want. You can have them basically a copy of yourself, or you can make them, or you can have them act the exact opposite of you. I've had characters that do both, and it's so much fun. It's so enjoyable, and... I just, I've never met someone who hasn't had fun playing the game, even if it's just once. One-shots are a great way to get introduced, especially if you have someone who already knows the game. Um, just highly, highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Point two. You get to keep up with these friends that you've made for years. Like, seriously, my friends and I, we have a consistent weekly game, so I get to keep up with them constantly. These are people that I hang out with every week just because I do karate and I sword fight, and it's, um, so I keep up with them constantly. Um, but, 
like, even when we don't have that, this is just a way that I could keep in touch with them. Yeah, like, especially if you ha don't get to see these people that often, if they're good friends of yours, and you get to keep up with them, that's just great. It's really nice to be able to see these friends, hang out with them, and just, you have a consistent way of staying close to friends that you've made over years. Uh, it's it's re really, really nice. Point three. You are crafting the story with the DM, with the pl other players at the table. It's not just one person telling a story. So as opposed to Skyrim where you are making all the decisions for yourself and you are doing this on your own, you have a group of people that you are crafting this and telling this story with. Um, a perfect example is actually Critical Role. Matt and his char Matt doesn't just tell the story that he wants to tell. Every player that he has tells the story with him. And it's not just a, and he's not the only one doing it. The story changes as the players want to change over time. And you'll see this if you watch Critical Role. It's actually, Matt's probably one of the prime examples of, he's, I DM very, very similarly to Matt Mercer. I like his style, the way that he does things. And so I personally choose to emulate his style a bit, but I still do my own thing as a DM. On top of crafting these stories with your friends, you get these stories to tell for long times to come, where you can, it, I've always found myself, even if I start off a series by saying, or start off a story by saying, my character did X, my character did Y, I always ended up by saying, I m killed the dragon, or my party ended up killing these X characters for X reason. These are stories that you get to tell like a video game, and it's just, it has a lot of great fun and entertainment. Yeah, no, it's just... <sighs> the stories that you get over time and the stories that you craft with your DM and your other players, they stay with you. These are stories that will stay with you like events that you did in your actual life. And it's something that you get to keep. It is amazing. And just, I highly recommend that you do it at least once. These stories stay with you forever. Point four. Okay, this point probably isn't gonna be as big of one to some of you. Community. This point, RPGs are an amazing, amazing community full of great people that do great things. And when you pl join Dungeons and Dragons or start playing, you join this community. Even if you don't really intend to from the beginning, but you still end up doing it. It is great, and it's such ni there are such nice people within this community. I don't think I've really ever met a mean RPG player, maybe because a lot of us were nerds and bullied in the past, but even now, you don't have these, like, there's not this stigma around this game anymore, and I love that because, you know, it's just, I've never understood the stigma around RPGs or games, violent games in general. Humans are inherently a little bit more inclined towards the fighting but so like these violent video games I've never understood or violent games in general why people get all up in arms about them it's just these games are so much fun and this fact that the stigma is losing it and people are actually making careers out of literally streaming their games and I, I love that and the community is great and you will join a super awesome and really, really nice community. Point five. And probably my final point here, you get a better appreciation of storytelling in general, how to craft and tell a story over almost years. Seriously, I'm a storyteller. I love this game. I'm a DM and I love to tell stories. In fact, I'm actually working on my own uh, fantasy uh, setting right now for Dungeons and Dragons specifically, but also because I kind of plan to write a book. If I actually do that, I will let you guys know. This game has given me such an appreciation for what it goes in, for what goes into making and telling stories like this. Yeah, it's just something that I've found that I really enjoy. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video with that. Those are the reasons that I think you should play Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, I know that some of these points got a little bit rambly, and even I probably don't think this is the best video that I've ever put out. Yeah, hopefully, I've convinced at least someone out there in the world even to just consider trying Dungeons & Dragons. But with that, I would like to close with a question. If you've ever played Dungeons & Dragons and you end up watching this video, what is the craziest story that has ever occurred to you while you were playing this game? Could be something that happened to your character, something that happened to one of your friends, or anything like that. But, um, anyway, with that, I will leave you my nerdy friends. Have a great day, guys. 
stay awesome, peace